Hello? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so we're evicted? Alright, no, that's fine. I totally understand. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and tear the f***ing house down and I'll talk to you never. Bye. Looks like we're evicted. With no home, no jobs, and only a six pack of tall boys, it felt like our world was closing in around us. What had once been a season of unlimited potential was dwindling down to hitting the same mountains and bars over and over again. We needed more. We needed to outdo the rest of our friends and go where four dudes packed into a truck with five skidoos and a rusty trailer had probably been before. The Alaska Highway. Trailer neck just snapped with five silver wheels in the back. Somehow didn't snap on the highway, it snapped in town, so we're really lucky. About a third of the way. 800 miles out of 2,500. We're getting Close there. Enough. We're getting Close there. <laughs> we'll walk from here if we have to, if we're going skiing. Yeah, it's in the welding shop now. Hopefully, we get it fixed, get back on the road. Soon here. Slight detour. <laughs> free. Back to normal. For now. Flat tire with a nice leak. And the closest place is 40 miles back where we came from. We already took it off once, tried to put on the spare that doesn't fit. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. This time we lost not one, but two tires. It's really exciting. This has been quite the adventure. Mini keg, lifesaver. Just reached the Canada Canadian Alaskan border. Finally made it. Uh, a little behind schedule, <laughs> but we made it. That's all that counts. After a tedious four days and three nights of traveling, we finally arrived in Valdez for the last two days of the Tailgate Alaska Freeride Festival. Through the city 
God. Day like five or six or something in Valdez. It's absolutely puking out. We got like two and a half feet or something in the last two nights. Um, I know people usually call these down days, but we're gonna go rip some pow. Should be pretty fun. out the six-day storm in Valdez, dreaming of the reset on Thompson Pass, but the first bluebird day came with 60 mile an hour winds. We pulled the plug on Valdez and set out on the Yukon's frost heave ridden roads for Haynes. Now, holding on by a thread down here, broken again, so we're gonna light a match and burn this thing. I went up the hill to see the sisters three. The only words that they could say was soon they'll come for thee. As I went to the square to see my brother hang, the only words that he could say were till we meet again. Right. 
We are 100% uh, down here. It had been a long, hard trip, filled with bad weather, broken equipment, and gut-wrenching body odor. What we found in AK was not an escape from our problems back home, but rather a new path to follow, a revamped notion of what skiing can be. We now know that we will be back every spring till our knees fail or the glaciers melt. That, and that you should never trust a $500 four-place trailer from Seattle. F*** that trailer.